Hey guys, let's get more news from SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Former Seahawks star KJ Wright starts coaching career with arch rivals. For so many years, Seattle Seahawks fans were used to watching KJ Wright help deliver victories over the San Francisco 49ers. A Wright will play a role in helping the Niners continue their recent dominance of the rivalry with the Seahawks and the NFC West division as a whole. Wright, the former Seahawks linebacker who was a key part of the Legion of Boom defense and Seattle's Super Bowl winning team from the 2013 season, announced on his podcast KJ All Day that he is to join the 49ers coaching staff. He has been hired as the 49ers assistant linebackers coach slash defensive quality control coach. I am thoroughly excited, I am really really happy for this opportunity, I'm really, really happy for the Niners organization believing in me, trusting me with their franchise, said Wright. I've competed against those guys since day one. My first ever NFL game was against the Niners, and I remember after that game my dad coming up to me saying you think that you can play in this league? I said heck yeah, I know I can play in this league. It was going against the Niners, and here I am, 13, 14 years down the road, about to be coaching for them. Call Shanahan to John Lynch, the 49er faithful, I'm excited, I'm ready to roll. It's going to be really, really fun. It's unlikely to be fun for fans in Seattle to see Wright, who retired as a member of the Seahawks in 2022, coaching against their team, especially given the success the 49ers have enjoyed of late. San Francisco represented the NFC in the Super Bowl this past season, but suffered an overtime defeat to the Kansas City Chiefs. Including the postseason, the 49ers have won the last five meetings with the Seahawks. The average margin of victory in those five games has been 15 points. In other words, it hasn't been close. Now, as he gets the chance to work with a linebacking core led by the best player in the NFL at that position, Fred Warner, Wright will be looking to help ensure the 49ers extend that streak to seven games in 2024. The Seahawks have past experience of seeing franchise legends join division rivals. Richard Sherman famously left for the 49ers in 2018 and played for San Francisco in Super Bowl 54, while Bobby Wagner played for the Los Angeles Rams in 2022. Still, though it's undoubtedly a tremendous achievement for Wright to be handed such an opportunity, the sight of him on the 49ers' sideline will definitely take some getting used to. The 49ers may not be ruling out a reunion with star pass rusher. Though he didn't produce up to the level he did with the Washington Commanders before he was traded at the October 31 trade deadline, San Francisco 49ers edge rusher Chase Young was still an effective part of the team's pass rush during the postseason. There's a chance a team is willing to overpay for Young in free agency given the importance of his position, but ESPN's Dan Graziano isn't ruling out a potential reunion between Young and the 49ers. The 49ers have at least some interest in bringing back edge rusher Chase Young, who was a bit of a disappointment for them after their deadline deal to acquire him from Washington, but is still just 24 and has a great relationship with star 49ers edge rusher Nick Boza, Graziano wrote. Young might end up having to take a one-year prove-it deal, be it from San Francisco or someone else, but there are enough teams still intrigued by the 2020 number 2 overall pick's potential. In seven games with the Commanders before being traded, Young had 38 pressures, 27 hurries, 5 QB hits and 5 sacks, per pro football focus. While his pressure rate was similar in the nine games after the trade, 36 pressures, 27 hurries, for QB hits, Young logged just 2.5 sacks. Spotrack projects Young to sign a one-year deal with a market value of around $13 million per season which could be right in the 49ers' wheelhouse once they start creating cap space for next season. They're currently over the cap by approximately $3 million, per spot track. It may not exactly be what the former number 2 overall pick is looking for, he likely wants a contract similar to what former teammate Montez Sweat got with the Chicago Bears, for years, $98 million total, $24.5 million per year, taking a one-year. Prove-it deal may not be the worst thing for Young given his age, especially playing for a Super Bowl contender like the 49ers. If he can improve on the totality of his 2023 season, 74 pressures, 54 hurries, 
9 QB hits, 7.5 sacks, Young could earn a big money deal in the 2025 offseason. Will the 49ers trade for Jets, QB, Zach Wilson? The 49ers are in the market for a backup quarterback. Will they trade for Zach Wilson? Their backup quarterback last season, Sam Darnold, is a free agent, and there's a chance he could sign somewhere that gives him a chance to compete to be the starter. If Darnold leaves, there's a legitimate chance the 49ers could trade for Wilson, according to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler. I think a team would trade a sixth or a seventh for Zach Wilson as a backup, but the money is the issue. My understanding is he has a short list of teams that he's interested in going to. He's not necessarily in a position to dictate terms right now, based on the way things went. He wants to go to an offensive head coach, that's pretty clear from my talks here at the Combine. So you think Rams, you think the 49ers? Seems cheap enough. The 49ers currently have the cheapest quarterback room in the NFL, they can afford to spend $5.4 million on Wilson if they like. And there's a good chance they do like him. I'm guessing the 49ers would have drafted him instead of Trey Lance if both were available for them in the 2021 NFL draft. Wilson has plenty of excuses for failing with the Jets. First, the Jets are terrible, as are their offensive coaches. He would benefit from playing under Kyle Shanahan. And his skill set is quite similar to Brock Purdy's, considering both have smaller statures and both like running around. I wouldn't be against the trade. The Buffalo Bills have a lot of decisions to make before free agency and the 2024 NFL draft comes around. However, if Buffalo is looking for a different quarterback to back up star Josh Allen, it will most likely be someone other than a recently available signal caller. Per the, the Athletic, the Bills are unlikely to pursue New York Jets quarterback Zach Wilson based on what he's been hearing at the scouting combine happening this week. Per Jets general manager Joe Douglas on Wednesday, New York has given Wilson's agents permission to seek a trade for a player that may be looking for a new home one way or another. As of right now, it seems that Wilson does not have much of a market given how he has played since being drafted by the Jets with the second overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. In three seasons, Wilson has thrown more interceptions than touchdowns and has been benched multiple times due to his poor play. According to The Athletic, the Bills don't seem to think highly of Wilson's potential, so it seems that Wilson does not make sense for Buffalo even if the team is looking for a different backup quarterback for the 2024 season. The backup quarterback for the 2023 season was Kyle Allen, who appeared in seven games for the Bills, but did not accumulate any stats. And you fan, what do you think of the Zach Wilson situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.